You don't think I have it? Look, <laughs> <laughs> well, correction takes a lot of different forms. How would you like to buy a bank? What the hell do we know about banking? Owning a bank is like owning the other side of the real estate business. There's a few complexities you just left out. Like what? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not wake up black this morning? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, still black. Your character tells Anthony Mackie's character that getting rich corrupts you. How has Samuel L. Jackson kept from being corrupted while still getting rich? You think I have it? <laughs> Corruption takes a lot of different forms. You know, I mean, there are there are things. I feel guilty sometimes when you know I go to airports and people escort me past all the people that are waiting in line. Or you know, I feel guilty sometimes when I get in restaurants that other people can't get in. Uh, but it's not a form of corruption. It's just a matter of you know people trying to accommodate you. Um, I don't try to take advantage of those things in a real kind of way. Uh, if it's it up to me. I would. You know, I hate lines, so if I was really corrupt, I'd be flying private planes all the time. <laughs> I was able to not become corrupt because I'm not rich. <laughs> no, I, um, for me, money is a, uh, money is not something I live by. I'm the same person if I got $20 or if I have a million dollars. We all put on our pants the same way. We all, it's not so much what the amount of money you make that makes who you are. It's about the person that you were raised to be. And I come from a very um, distinguished line of uh, men and women in my family. So uh, every day I live to, uh, for them to be proud of me. And I'm sure they are. So with every experience. My sisters are something completely different. They tell me every day that I'm a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing black men succeed. Sometimes I even invest some of my own money to back them. I know you're smart and ambitious. You and I both know that's not enough. It's time that someone shine a bright light in order for things to change. Are you starting to buy real estate in white-only neighborhoods? Keep one eye open. Think about all the good we can do for the community. Taking it to the man. That's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> and just how in the hell do you plan on pulling that off? If we tell this story, perhaps we can undo or at least make changes. Absolutely right. Talk about redlining 50 years later. Well, let's talk about redlining. Hey. Okay, so. I'm from Chicago originally, and I know exactly the way it worked out. Okay. And I know how people were not given loans, or the, or the interest rates were twice as high. What was your first home buying experience like? Home, oh. Well, I, I'll make it really short. I did a film called Boiler Room with a guy named Giovanni Ruiz, yes. who's a great actor. And I saw this house and I was like, this is the house for me. And then I didn't buy the house for whatever reason. And then I had a dream about the house six months later. And I said, today's Sunday and I'm gonna drive by that house and see if that house is still for sale. It was for sale, I called the realtor and I've been in that house for 25 years.